Okay. So, <laughs> I've made huge changes since my last stream. Massive updates. Okay. So, just to kind of go through everything that's happened so far. So, uh, in the last stream, essentially, we we dig out this, this home base, okay? Wait. Okay. Yeah. We dig out this home base, okay? So, it, it looks fairly similar to what it was last time in the last stream, for those of you that were here. Okay. Um, obviously, I added a little bit to it. So, I finally got a bed. <laughs> of course. Finally got a bed. So that's helpful. I still need more wool though, because uh, I actually I feel like I need at least, I need another bed for another kitchen. Um, but I have like multiple different areas now for my base, uh, and I'll kind of explain. So first of all, so before I start explaining the inside of my base, let me go ahead. Let's open this up. This guy keeps coming around every once in a while. <laughs> it's kind of nice. He just kind of always just stops by all the time. Uh, and he, he kind of acts as like a natural deterrent against like the nightlife. Um, which is a nice little bonus. I wish I could keep him somehow, but I can't. Okay, so uh, I guess what should I go first? Okay, so I guess I should mention that I finally got a shield. <laughs> finally! <laughs> uh, it's, it's so helpful, especially when there's like I'm fighting multiple at once. Finally got a shield, okay. Um, I cleared out this area a little bit, okay. I, as well as I leveled off the top of the house a little bit as well. So I leveled off this area quite a bit. Just because of the fact I feel like I kind of want to do something up here at some point in the future. I'm not too sure what, though. Um, I also... In case you didn't remember, there's also... I'm also right next to a rat, like this giant ravine. And I'll show you later, but I actually have like direct access to this Ravi now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I have, I'm developing like multiple ways to kind of interconnect everything. Um, I want like everything to be connected, but at the same time, I want it to be like connected in a way that's safe. I, I don't, you'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay, so you might, you might notice as well, is that the fact that uh, my lake that I have here, the giant lake, you can clearly see stuff below it, all right? So I finally, like I mentioned in my last stream, I finally replaced the entire bottom of the lake <laughs> and replaced it with glass, with a glass flooring, okay? It's, it's all glass now. And at the same time, I also dug out underneath the glass uh, and basically made this giant room all underneath the lake so it's pretty cool okay and then over here we have uh this is like this is cuck's tower this is where i'm gonna basically this is where i can see everything okay um <laughs> i have I, I guess i could just show you so i still kind of have to figure out what exactly i want to do with the front right here i'm not too sure i built this stone wall just to make it so that uh enemy mobs don't just randomly walk in here in the middle of the night, especially since I now have uh, an underground passage leading from the home base to the lake to in here. So that way I can just walk from underground into Cox Tower without ever having to go to the surface. Uh, so I needed some sort of barrier protection to prevent enemies from just walking in here. Uh, it still doesn't stop spiders because spiders just literally just climb whatever they want so it's like uh okay uh but it, it stops everything else as far as i can tell okay so we're using a waterway actually wait oh i don't have food can't i don't know if i can make this swim no i can't make this swim or maybe i might i might lose some health can't i can't swim fast enough Well, rip. Okay, we'll do it again. It's fine. I'll get my stuff back. It's back. Oh yeah, I lost all of my, almost all of my iron armor because I died quite a few times at night trying to, <laughs> trying to obtain food because I have no food. I have no food at all whatsoever. I spent all my time just like 
just digging out my base. That's it. <laughs> I don't have any food at all whatsoever, so I'm like, I'm always constantly hungry. Uh, well, this is fine for now. Okay, but anyways, the top of the top cook tower. So I made it so I can swim up here, right? You can make it just fine if you fast swim. Um, so I can't use it when I'm hungry, as you saw, I'll, I'll die. Boop. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's how I get up here. Uh, and I kind of put glass around here just to make sure I don't ac accidentally walk off. <laughs> walk off the side of it. Uh, I didn't know how much it was going to... It looked. It always feels like it shoots me out from here as well. And I have no idea how high it shoots me out. So I, I built it kind of tall just to make sure. Um, but I also wanted to use it as a kind of like a watchtower just to kind of survey my surroundings, see what I've got around me if I want to explore and such. So that's kind of, so I use I use glass so that way I can see around me, especially below me as well. So that way I can just kind of look around. Uh, so that's what I got right there. And then if I jump up, okay. I basically had, <laughs> and it, it kind of looks like it from, the, from below as well, uh, but it's almost like a giant diving board. <laughs> and which it kind of is. I literally just jump up here and I can just jump into the lake. And that's how I get down. Okay. It really does just look like one giant diving board though. Which is kind of funny. Let me go ahead and show you some of the other uh -huh. sections as well. Okay. So Okay, so here are the mines. This is the mines. We dug this earlier in the first stream. Alright. Not really too much has changed about this, to be honest, about the mines. I, I haven't really touched the mines too much, just because the fact that there's so many, like, I think it's, I feel like it's connected to, the, or I think it's a separate ravine it's connected to. I don't know. It's connected to, to like, so many large areas now that, oh, I, I made it a little cleaner. I kind of dug it out a little bit more, so there's a little bit more walking space. So I know I definitely did that. Um, What is this? Why is this open? Uh, but yeah, there's so many, like, I, I discovered so many different, like, open, like, chasms and ravines. Uh, where did my torches go? Uh, in, in the mines now that, like, I ha I've barely touched the mines at this point. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of explored just slightly more, so I started placing torches here and there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to touch it too much because I'm always, I, I, I never have enough food, so... <laughs> I can never heal myself. I still don't I, I still don't have a way to bring animals to my base so that way I can breed them and just not have to worry about food. So I'm constantly worrying about food. <laughs> I have a never ending supply though of like dirt and stone and whatnot. Just a bunch of, you know, earth materials. I just have a ridiculous amount of them. So I mean that's the mine, okay? Um, hold on. Yeah, see, like, I have an entire large chest full of just cobblestone. It's insane. Uh, I had, I don't know how many different numbers of shovels and pickaxes I had to make as well. Oh, there's a zombie. I have to be careful sometimes at night. Uh, because, like, if I, uh, if I spend too long, like, outside the base, and I come back to my base, like to my home base at night, sometimes mobs will just spawn in this specific room. It's always in my room with my bed that they spawn. They don't spawn anywhere else in my base for some reason. I don't know why. I don't understand it. <laughs> but they do. <laughs> so I, so I, I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, anyways, uh, moving on. Okay. Uh, if we open up these doors, so I completely cleared out this entire left side over here Of the base, okay, and this is actually the ravine that, you, that we noticed from up top uh, Previously, okay, so we we have a way we have a nice like kind of view of the ravine which is not, it's not too bad uh, I also have is this is temporary um but I also have a kind of mini staircase on the side here to help me get to the top if I wanted to. Oh shit, this pointer. Okay, so that's one thing right there. Um, on the other hand as well, 
later on, I do want to make a staircase that helps me get all the way to the bottom of the rabbi if I want to. Especially since, like, I keep seeing so much, like, ore. Just, just there for the taking in this ravine. So I definitely want to explore this ravine at some point. Um, but yeah, that's where I, I don't know what I'm going to use this. I feel like I want to use this area, though, for uh, breeding animals. That's kind of kind of the feeling I'm getting right now. I'm not too sure just yet, but that's that's what I think I might do with it. Uh, as well as the fact there's also this little area over here. That I kind of have like a little farming. I'm kind of doing a bit of farming here. Uh, I just have like little patches of water. It's, just kind of, it's like a little mini ir irrigation. And then it connects back into the room. Okay, so left side here, right side there, and they all connect. Okay. On top of the fact that back in the left room, hey, what's up, Phantom X98? How you doing? So back in the left room, oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> back in the left room. All right, uh, so I showed you this and there's that back door. It basically loops. It just goes wraps around uh, in the middle of the, the initial home base. OK, um, when I go to the left room, though, I have this doorway and this goes directly underground. OK, all the way to underneath the lake now. So it's super roomy. Now, now I, ha I literally can like work and live underneath the lake that I live next to now, okay, which is cool. So later on, what I want to do um, is I want to just kind of like drag a bunch of sea life, uh, like the the little traveling merchant villager thingamajigger. Uh, he was selling like puffer fish in a bucket or something like sooner or later, I want to buy something like that. And I'll just toss the, bu the I'll just toss the buffer fish in a in the lake <laughs> i'll just toss them in there okay so that way i can like see all the fish and stuff like swimming around from above during the day uh and it's, it's you know it's it's almost like a little kind of like underwater aquarium kind of cool right uh i'm also slowly replacing these janky lanterns that i made uh with actual lanterns uh whenever i can find iron ore so that's another mini project that I, I'm doing in the meantime, because I mean, these these are a lot easier, a lot please, well, ah, more pleasing on the eyes compared to the. Uh, these dirt lanterns <laughs> that I made <laughs> a lot easier on the eyes, uh, this this over here. Right here used to be the initial entrance for me to enter under the lake so that way I can help uh, finish digging it out and stuff um, but I didn't need it anymore because now that I have like what I have like th three or four different entrances to to under here now uh, pretty much I, I just want I just want it so that like anywhere that I add to the base it's connected to other places in the base that's that's all I want I want everything to be connected in some way shape or form I want I want this I like I want a level of simpleness to my base but also a level of complexity to make it like super unique and cool. Uh, I'm still figuring it out kind of as I go, but definitely get them all connected to each other was kind of one of the big ones. Uh, so I showed you this door right here. So this was the door that, that came from the left hand side of the of the surface base. OK, so this just goes directly underneath. It's under lake and then from here as well there's also another door or oh, well okay here's the staircase that goes to cuck's tower that i kind of showed previously as well okay yeah so there's this this goes to the cuck's tower now and i have there's my elevator my my water elevation system and the diving board that just jumps into the lake okay where is it so i have another door over here this goes this one goes directly to my home okay so you can see the home right there so i just made i just made another under uh, another water elevator right here this takes me straight back to my room it's very simple but like so like quite literally everything's connected so i have an easy way to get to everyone oh my god what is he doing in here he just steal he just he just stole a piece of my home see <laughs> 
I don't know how to take it back. Um, it's fine. I got I got an entire box of dirt. This like these guys literally will just teleport in my base, and it's freaky as hell. Um, there was this one time that he did it the first time. I was like, what the hell are you? But yeah, the first time I saw this guy, I right clicked on him, which didn't do anything, but he freaked out all of a sudden. And he spazzed him out. He literally teleported outside. He was like ramming into the glass as if he was trying to get me. And I was like scared. Because <laughs> he was making freaky noises and stuff like that. Don't look at it. All right. I mean, I already know of it. Oh, you mean don't look at this guy? So there's another area that I uncovered. So while I was digging underneath the lake, I happened to come across another like mine tunnel <laughs> system right here. Let me grab this. Okay. I just happened to come across it right here and I haven't really explored this one too much either. I think this, uh... crap, I think I'm lost. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I intentionally found it. So yeah, it, it, it's actually, I didn't even know this was here, but apparently there was like a, an entrance to a mine right in front of, <laughs> right across the lake from my home. I didn't know that. And I just happened to accidentally find it as I was digging underneath the lake too. So, hey, that's cool. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's my base so far. I basically spent like all of my spare time these last few days in between work, uh, which wasn't a lot of time basically just <laughs> just digging out my base that's it just digging it out i haven't really gotten to do much else at the moment um i am in the need though to start collecting animals because i am always constantly hungry i don't uh, uh, can you make stone armor i'm actually gonna go out and try and uh collect animals now in a sec so i'm gonna prepare a little bit i I'm hoping, I'm not too sure if this works or not, but I'm hoping I can lure the animals into my base using wheat, just just feeding them a ton of wheat. I'm hoping that that's an option. I can make bread. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's all I had to do. Come on. This is... This, I'm hoping this heals me, right? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. That's all I had to do this entire time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> all I had to do. Oh man, I've been busting my neck out over here trying to like look for animals and stuff in order to feed my hunger. And stay alive and heal myself. I didn't realize I could make bread this entire time. I'll just start growing everything. Oh, I can make a garden. Oh, I should do that. I should literally have my front yard. Oh, that that's actually a great idea. I can make the, the front yard right here. Just a little bit of a garden. I'll definitely make a garden later on. Oh, this is also something I, I, I really I think is really cool. Um, because of the fact that I have so much lighting and stuff like the lake has to look pretty cool oh, i actually haven't checked yet let me go check actually i mean that doesn't look too bad it's like it's like my own little nightlife it looks pretty cool and you can see like right there uh like literally my base or like like i haven't really dug out so like okay i dug out that area right there it kind of expands here i dug out like this entire section here so and then I have the tunnel to the mines going directly underneath here. Okay, so it's honestly not too bad. It's honestly not too bad. I, I definitely want to make use of this giant chasm at some point. Okay, so I can either choose to A, go exploring and try and find some animals to lure here using wheat. I like feed it to them and maybe they'll follow me. I can lure them back to base. Or B, I can... uh. I can go into mine, into the mines. Those are my two options right now. Um, 
obviously they both have their issues uh if i go looking for animals i even if i bring them back to this general area i have to figure out how in the heck i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring them underground so i kind of want to make an elevator system of sorts but i can't use an underwater one i can't use a, i can't use a water elevator like i do for me because i i i'm pretty sure they'll end up drowning they'll they'll take damage they'll die so i can't do that and then of course if i go into the mines i risk finding a ton of enemies i kind of want to go into the mines though i also want, i don't know we'll, we'll go exploring we'll go exploring for the uh the animals because i feel like i kind of need those a little bit more oh i have to feed him seeds oh, are you kidding me all right you no no actually actually you, you, you no 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 i mean he's get okay you, you're this is ben affleck he's gonna we're gonna stay in the hole oh, god damn yes no yes stay in the hole stay in the hole i will be back for you you stay stay there it's getting dark too oh man i hope he doesn't despawn how the heck am i gonna get down punch the tall grass right behind you do they drop seeds oh they do oh you are a goddamn genius oh he laid an egg too oh. how do i feed it to him i will i will be right back okay okay I'll be right back. You don't. I don't know. You stay right here. <laughs> don't despawn. I'll be right back. Oh crap! I don't know. If... This is to help identify. This is the spot. Come on, come on, follow me. Eat. Eat. Okay. Come on. <laughs> come on, Ben Affleck. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's following me. How do I get- Ah, oh shit, how do I get down? <laughs> it's a slow process. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come with me. There we go. Being a good boy. <laughs> as long as I hold seeds, you will follow? Okay. Good to know. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay, as- as our first resident of I don't even know what to call my home. Well, that's the first resident of your new home. Okay, you have endless supply of seeds and wheat right here to your liking. Okay, you understand? No? Yes? Okay. Well, I don't know if you nodded. Okay, good. Whatever. All right. Uh, the only rule that you must follow is to not go up here. If you do, you will die. Actually, let me go ahead. Oh, shit. He can actually just jump over this, can he? At any point. I need to build gates, don't I? Can they jump over gates? They can't jump over gates, can they? Anyways, um, I believe I read online somewhere that if I throw enough eggs, I could possibly hatch a chicken. I don't know if that's quite true. I've been trying to do it for a while now, but... Oh my god! Oh my... Okay, so it doesn't happen all the time, it's just sometimes. Oh, we got two chickens. Now they can frick. Okay, so I more or less am taking care of my food situation. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. I'm gonna go hunt for a cow next. Well, <laughs> what do cows eat? Do cows eat hay? I don't wanna have to make a second trip back just to get what I needed. That looks like a pig. I think that's a pig. I'm gonna get a pig. What do pigs eat? Someone quick, quick, tell me what pigs eat. <laughs> we need to bring him over. Oh my god, there's another one there too. Yeah, so pigs to my... Oh, they're like actually to my immediate left. Is there a cow nearby too, by chance? Oh, but I got a boat. I got a boat. Wait, hold on. No, go back, go back, go back. I got a boat though. Okay, we'll take you. You seem, you seem to be... Oh my god, he fit. He fit immediately. Let's go. How do I, how do I enter third person? Okay, okay. I have to be careful on how I do this. So I don't know how I'm going to get him across. 
I'm hoping he swims, right? Shit. Maybe I should go around. I'm hoping he swims. He's able to swim so that way he can stand at the entrance. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Come in. Come in. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. He's floating. He's, he's floating. What? Please come in. I know I'm not holding the right item. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? You have, you have steps. You have steps right there. Please just walk inside. Do I need to make it easier for you? Come here. Come inside. <laughs> Oh my god. Just two steps. Take two. Yes. Oh, thank. Oh, come on. This. God. Oh, 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 oh no, no. We, 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 okay, we have another option. We have another option. We have another option. Come here, come here. Okay. Uh, I have. I forgot. I almost forgot. I have an entrance right here, though. We can use this instead. Hey, look at that. That wasn't so okay. Please take two steps forward. Thank you. That wasn't so hard. Hey, we got him in here. I'm still debating what I want to do with underneath the lake. I kind of do want to make part of it a farm, though. Like what? What I'm thinking? What I'm thinking that I could do? If I'm to make the bottom of the lake, at least a portion of this area, a farm. If I'm going to do that, what I'm thinking that I could do in order to make it work is I would essentially end up using the lake to my advantage. Okay. So that way, uh, I'm gonna put everything. I'm, I'm going to go mining now. I need to start looking for iron ore. <laughs> now that I actually have food, I can actually afford to go on these like more dangerous missions. sound right at all. Okay. We're slowly but surely <laughs> making so much progress. My my shield's kind of running dry though. Is this diamond? I think this is diamond, right? Oh, what's that blue stuff? What's that? What's that blue thing right there? Be kidding me! Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm assuming I lost all my stuff, right? Because I fell in lava. <sighs> I just lost my diamond. I had so much coal, so much iron. I did get too greedy. I would love, I would love all the Fs right now, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. I was doing so well. <laughs> this time, <laughs> we'll do it properly. <laughs> we'll come back with a full haul of stuff again. And we won't dig straight down. <laughs> I don't know if that's a ton, but there's quite a bit of ore there. What the f What the fuck? Why is he attacking me? I didn't even attack him! Careful here. I need. I want to figure out how how I can try and get over there. Uh. 
or if you want to save that for episode three, that would be fine as well. Oh crap! Uh, we'll see. I mean, I can I can always edit it into just this third video. I can do I can continue the stream as long as I want, and then you know cut up. What the? How? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is the same exact hole I fell in last time. <laughs> <laughs> 